Alright, so since the main thing for this problem is to find where to put the support to balance the meter stick, you're basically trying to find the radius from each of the weights to the center support. Since it's our job to find the radius, we need to use variables as a substitute in order to solve the problem. The meter stick has two weights. The 500 gram mass is placed at the 10 centimeter mark, and the 200 gram mass is placed at the 90 centimeter mark. The support will be somewhere in between both of them. As a substitute for the radius from the 500 gram mass to the support, you can use the variable x. Since the weights are 80 centimeters apart from one another, you use 0.8 minus x for the radius from the 200 gram mass to the center support. You use 0.8 meters because we can't work in centimeters. Now that you have the substitutes for the radius, we can start working our way to the torque formulas. Torque equals radius times force. In order to find the torque for the 500 gram mass, we need to find the force of gravity. First, we convert 500 grams into kilograms, which would be 0.5 kilograms. To find the force, you do force gravity equals mass times 9.8 because we're on Earth. Plug the mass in, which is 0.5, and multiply by 9.8, and you should get 4.9 newtons. Now that you have the radius and force, you can find the torque for the 500 gram mass. We know that torque equals radius times force. You plug in x for the radius and 4.9 in for the force. Torque equals x times 4.9. Your torque is 4.9x. We'll use this torque later to help finish the problem. Now we have to work on the other side of the problem for the 200 gram mass. Since we already figured out earlier that the radius we need to use is 0.8 minus x, we need to find the force for the 200 gram mass. So we do the same thing as the 500 gram mass. Convert 200 grams into kilograms, which will be 0.2 kilograms. Then you find the force gravity by using the formula force gravity equals mass times 9.8. Your mass is 0.2 kilograms multiplied by 9.8, which will come out to be 1.96 newtons. Now we need to put what we have into the torque formula for the 200 gram mass. Torque equals radius times force. You plug in 0.8 minus x for the radius and 1.96 in for the force. Since torque is always equal on both sides, we bring in torque from the 500 gram mass that we already figured out and substitute it into this equation. 4.9x equals 0.8 minus x times 1.96. Then we do the math and find x, which should be 0.2286 meters. Since we need to find where to put the support to balance the meter stick, we need to go back to working in centimeters, since it's more accurate. So we take the 0.2286 meters and convert it into centimeters, which should be 22.86 centimeters. 22.86 is the x variable, the radius from the 500 gram mass to the support. Since the 500 gram mass starts at 10 centimeters, we need to add the 22.86 centimeters to the 10 centimeters that we already have. 22.86 plus 10 equals 32.86 centimeters, which is where the support needs to be placed to balance the meter stick.